I mean, do you want me to keep talking? I, th I thought that we were just doing a photo. I say just. That was a rude way. Hi, everyone. Uh, welcome back. Sorry about that slight delay. Um, this is trying to stream everything together that we've got. Um, something that we decided to do um, last year was to introduce an award for somebody who, who we think has had a huge impact um, over time on the history community, or actually any subject community. Um, so we opened it up to science, maths, uh, English, all the subjects. Um, we got, we got, yeah, not geography. We got a huge amount of um, nominations. Lots of people um, put forward different names, and um, yeah. So we we we're going to announce that award in a minute. And the whole point of it is we're going to and we're going to award someone this every year. So every, every year, um, it might not be at TM History Icons that the award's actually distributed. It just so happened it is this year. So next year, it could be another subject event. Um, but every year, we're going we're gonna to do this nomination process, and then um, somebody's going to win the award. Now, I'm going to pass over to our esteemed coordinator, uh, Alex, who is going to introduce the winner of, I'm not sure, yeah, the winner of the award for this year. Um, and Alex is actually going to introduce that award. Now, um, we'll see how the stream's going. I don't know what's going on with the sound and whatnot. Um, there's the trophy, everyone. Have a look. How, what a lovely trophy that is. Thank you to Steph for, for arranging the trophy. Um, now, the, the reason for the name of the award, the, the David Bones Impact Award, um, we'll, we'll come on to that in a few moments' time um, because there is a reason for that. Um, but before we do that, I'm going to pass over to Alex to say, hopefully, a little bit more. Thank you very much. Esteemed. My word, I must have done all right today. Excellent. Well, as I we said, did say though, testes, though. Oh, so. not, not doing too well. Um, so, yes, um, this award is obviously a very important award, and it's to recognize someone who's had such a significant impact in our community. And so I'm very, very proud to announce that the winner of the award is someone who is an incredible dad and husband. It's someone who is an amazing history teacher um, and musician. It's, it's almost like clues. Like, <laughs> um, he's written two books, 366 Days and another 366 Days, which we actually have in our raffle. He is the one who... I'm, I'm getting emotional. Never mind him. At History Pod um, creator. Um, you may see those stickers placed all around Germany, thanks to when we went there and just sticker bombed the whole place. Um, he is the owner of Mr. Allsop History website. And about eight years ago, I started teaching a new spec. And this was before I knew Scott. And uh, I was like, oh, my God, how am I going to teach this? This looks impossible. And I came across Mr. Allsop History, and I, I went on it, and I was like, Everything that I need is there, absolutely everything. And who hasn't had a lesson where we've heard hello <laughs> um, beam into our classroom? Do you know what was funny? The other day, one of the kids said, Miss, I'll come across your, uh, your, your YouTube. And I was like, what do you mean? He said, the one that goes, hello. And I was like, that's not me. It's Mr. Allsop. So that is Scott. And I have to say, my first ever TM History Icons, I came down from Newcastle on my own. I wasn't part of the team. The team as we have it now, uh, Tom was one of the members and I sat down and I remember having a conversation with the person next to me and they said oh you know I've driven three hours to be here and I was like oh, I've driven four hours to be here I'm more committed and then uh, Scott said well uh, I've come from Bucharest and I was like give over and then he was like yeah it only took me two hours and I was like right I'm not friends with you who are you and he said I'm Scott Olsop and I was like oh, fangirl and I was like oh my god it's Mr Olsop but I am so lucky to have got to know this man who has been dragged reluctantly into TM history icons he literally had no choice he was like no I'm really not part of the team and we're like you really are part of the team tough um he is a Eurovision fan and he's an amazing musician and at the moment his school has undergone um an inspection and meanwhile he's been organizing this significant work to support Ukrainian refugees using his students empowering them to do this kind of good so you know not only is he teaching being a dad being an excellent husband, being a support to all of us in our history community, putting on these amazing quizzes during lockdown with the funkiest music you've ever heard in your entire life. Um, he's amazing. I, I literally don't know how he does it. And he, like, more than this, what he's the nicest guy 
in the history community ever, in fact, probably the educational world. So I'm very, very proud and honoured to say congratulations to Mr. Allsop History. And also, we've got a little surprise for you as well, because not only will your prize... Um, not only will your prize come with your t-shirt, we couldn't get it out to you in time, so we have got you a t-shirt for the day. But as well, everybody, are we ready? Three, two, one. <laughs> <laughs> and just so you know, Helen Carr's also wearing it. <laughs> so, we are so sorry that you can't be with us, but you are absolutely... Oh, guys like in spirit and in paper format. So big thank you to Alice who um, snuck that through in her repro. Might want to not share this with your school. Um, so a big thank you to Scott Allsop. He's absolutely incredible. And I'm going to pass over to Carmel, who's going to talk us through this a little bit more. Where do I need to be? You want me to say No, it's fine. I'm fine. I'm very, very humbled. This award is being a given in um, honour of my late husband, David, who died last year. Um, we met him in our PGC 30 years ago, and I can't think of anybody better than Scott also to be the recipient. It reminds me of David in many, many ways, because he's kind and humble and modest and puts everybody else first with a fierce intellect and incredible selflessness. So please, everybody, big round of applause, Mr. Also! <laughs> Woo! There you go. No worries. Okay. Wow. Um, so, if you didn't get it, we love you. <laughs> we think you're great. So, thank you for everything that you do. And all the money raised in the raffle will go towards the work that Scott's doing over in Ukraine um, to support refugees and to make sure that we're providing them with kind of resources that they need. So, a big thank you to Scott. I don't know if you're able to say anything or not. I don't know if our tech's set up for that. <laughs> it's probably best to take me off, to be honest. <laughs> At least he's not on mute. Yeah. Are you, Are you able you, to speak to God? I, I am speaking. Um, I don't know if... if <laughs> He's on mute. Oh. Uh, oh. um, there we go. There we, we, go. Can we can hear you now. Right. Oh, the echo. Yeah. As you know, uh, I, I think it's absolutely wonderful that you've created this award. Um, and to be awarded this um, uh, in named in memory of a man who gave so much to so many people is uh, is, is deeply humbling. Um, <laughs> and uh, and similarly to know that uh, it was awarded based on nominations from uh, from my peers in the in the teaching community is um, is is quite something. Um, and obviously, I know that Carmel's there because I keep seeing her hugging people in front of the camera. <laughs> um, but um, yeah, I, I know that David must have been a, an incredible bloke because uh, otherwise you wouldn't have ended up with it. So, uh, so thanks. Uh, guy, I really don't deserve this. Um, most things I do just happen because uh, I just like doing it. But um, yeah, I, it, it's great to see that what I do is is valued and 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 that it makes an impact. Um, so yeah, good lord, <laughs> wow! Uh, thanks ever so much. This uh, this this really means a lot. Thank you. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. It takes a lot it takes to get to me, to but it has got to me. Hey, even. Um, and that's, we're going to carry on honouring David's memory. So every year, please pass it on to, to nominate someone who's going to win this award annually. And they win a little, a little trophy every year. Um, and yeah, thanks so much, everyone. Give it a clap. We've got like a five, like a four or five minute break now before we move on to hear from Helen Carr. So this is when we're going to have a fun thing where we all get to watch Tom trying to do the tech in four and five minutes. And I feel like we almost need to put a timer on and just all watch him. Like <laughs> This is like, you know, when you go into a new classroom and you've never logged on before, maybe this is just the tech at my school, and you just see the circle of death for like five minutes. And like, you know, you've got like year nine, period six, Friday, it's always year nine. And, uh, you know, you're trying to log on and they're like, and they're like you've got to do the red. 